Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emma, if you're new here. Hey, welcome, what's up? So today I have a pretty requested video. You guys are always asking, because I post a lot about my workouts that I do. I post a lot about fitness. I post a lot about what I eat. It's just one of the things that make me me. I don't know. I love working out. I love being healthy, moving my body, and just doing good things that just make me feel good. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know my journey I've been on, kind of. Don't even know where to start. So this video is basically all about how I grew my butt and got into my fitness journey. I do work with a trainer that is a certified fitness trainer. A lot of the tips that I have picked up over the past few years are from him. So the stuff that I am saying to you guys right now is coming from my trainer. I made sure I talked to him about this before I made this video because I want to make sure I have all the right facts and all the right things to say. I don't want to give you guys any wrong information or tell you guys anything or show you any sort of workouts that aren't by a trainer, someone that's certified because obviously that's just not right. So anyway, I will have a workout towards the end of this video just showing you guys one of the workouts I've been doing within the past almost year now, probably since like mid-summer and it has really helped me grow the butt that I have and other things obviously as well. It's 80-20 fitness and what you eat basically. I mean, you can disagree or agree with me, but anyway, I have some stuff written down on my phone, just kind of like bullet points to talk about so I can give you guys all the information that I've wanted to give you. And yeah, so if I'm looking at my phone, that's why. I should be a sophomore in college right now and I started my fitness journey in, I want to say eighth grade. So ever since eighth grade, I have been working out consistently. I grew up playing sports, so I had always played field hockey and ice hockey, and so I was just always active and running around and just working out and training and stuff like that. So once I stopped playing sports, which I would work out on my own starting in eighth grade and do sports at the same time, so it's kind of like I did both, but then I completely stopped sports my junior year of high school when I started my YouTube channel, and I just started to go to the gym on my own because I wanted to keep up just working out. I don't know, I love working out. It truly makes me so happy. So I just kept it up ever since then. I got my own gym membership and I would just go to the gym on my own and just do little things like cardio and just like tiny little like butt workouts and I all I did was focus on my abs and my butt. I did ab workouts and butt workouts and that's it. I'd like look up on YouTube little butt workouts or like ab workouts and I kind of just like would make my own routines and do them and I did like I feel like it just didn't really go anywhere. I would walk on the treadmill or I'd go on runs, like I'd run miles and miles or I'd walk on the treadmill for like hours, not hours, but like probably an hour and I was just excessively doing cardio all the time and this lasted my junior year and senior year when I just excessively was doing cardio, 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 cardio and that's it. And I looked great, I was fit and all, but I'll like insert a picture of me here. I looked great. I was fit, but I just feel like I didn't have anything to my body. I also was not eating right. When I was in high school, I feel like I would eat breakfast and then I just wouldn't eat all day at school and then I'd eat dinner at home. I just wasn't at a great point, so I feel like I just was not there. And then finally, my freshman year of college rolled around. I moved to Boston right after I graduated high school and that summer I started working out with the trainer that I have now, Mike. Mike is literally the best thing that ever happened to my fitness journey. He really has helped so, so, so much. Anyway, I'll have his stuff linked down below and everything, but so I started working out with him my right when I graduated high school and this was 2019. When I started working out with him, I literally showed him a photo of Sophia Ritchie and I was like, I want a big butt and a little waist like that's what i want because i not gonna lie like i kind of looked like a rectangle like i don't know i feel like 
the, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I got a lot of hate online from people sometimes here and there. Um, they would call me SpongeBob and they'd be like, you look like a cereal box. And I was like, like that is so, making fun of someone's body is just the worst thing that you could possibly ever do. Don't make fun of people's body. Don't say anything about someone else's body. Like everyone's body is beautiful, no matter what shape, no matter what size. If you don't have a butt, you're still beautiful. If you have a big butt, you're beautiful. Like everyone is beautiful, no matter what. You don't need these certain standards to, in order to make others happy. So <laughs> that's a whole different story. Don't even get me started on it. But anyway, I was just super unhappy with the way I looked, but I thought, I was doing the right thing. I was working out a lot daily. Like I'd go to the gym before school. I'd wake up at 4.30, I'd go to the gym by five, I'd work out for an hour and a half, and then I'd go to school and do it all over again the next day. Like that's that was my routine. And I thought I was doing it right. And I was like, what, why am I not? Like, why don't I look the way I wanna look? And I always had the mindset of just like being skinny and like getting a big butt, but it just doesn't work that way. Like you can't have the mindset of just being skinny and you can't just be like, oh, like I'm working out to be skinny or I'm working out because I ate bad or I'm working out for this. You can't make it a chore because making it a chore just makes you not want to do it and makes you not work as hard. I'm getting off track. So I started working out with Mike 2019, June 2019, and basically it just changed my life. He really helped so much. So we started and basically every single week and every single month we build up our workouts so it's like we're just getting stronger and stronger at the beginning working out with him i was so afraid of lifting weights because i did not want to be bulky i was like i am so scared to lift weights girls don't do that girls don't lift weights like i'm gonna look like a guy i'm gonna have these big arms i'm gonna have like these big legs like i'm gonna look like Mu a muscle man like I literally was so scared I was like uh-uh I'm not li lifting anything more than a five pound weight so that whole summer we only worked with like five pound weights resistance bands ropes and stuff like that and then I also did a lot of Pilates I work out with my trainer two times a week and then I do Pilates two times a week or once a week depending on the week I have quarantine started and I was doing all these workouts indoors like we weren't allowed to obviously work out with our trainer anymore I was like switched back to doing only Pilates and only yoga. And then once the restrictions were a little bit more lifted, this was June 2020, we were allowed to work out with our trainer again, but in an outdoor setting. We were so fortunate to be able to go to a field to start working out outside. And that was great. We started to do a lot more athletic training type workouts and using kind of heavier weights. And then we started to see a difference. like. Probably by July after consistently working out with my trainer twice a week every single week start to see more of Like a difference in my body. I was getting more of like a curvy shape. I was getting a bigger butt I was like, where is this coming from? And it was because we started to incorporate more weight and we started to lift heavier and started to do a lot more of those types of workouts and use bands all the time like we've gotten so good at doing band work that it's like the hard bands are easy now it's crazy like i that, so crazy so anyway once it hit to be like fall and it got colder outside we had to start working out in gym obviously we couldn't be outside it was way too cold and that's when we started to go into doing more weightlifting stuff and using a lot heavier weight and doing deadlifts and trap bar deadlifts and all these different squat variations and random things that I've never done before and then I was like oh my god and you guys even started to see a difference you're like your body looks amazing like how did this happen and I was like this is so 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 crazy so I'm gonna tell you guys how that happened how I went from being a legit rectangle and not having a butt to having like a pretty curvy figure now and having a butt okay to achieve the look of having like that hourglass figure what i did was you got to work your upper body and your lower body and it kind of creates an illusion of having a broader like upper body bigger like arms bigger shoulders is like bigger up here and then it like obviously you thin out a little bit in your stomach and then your butt being bigger 
gives you that like hourglass shape and it's so 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 crazy so i started to look like that and people were like she's editing her pictures and i'm like no i'm not i'm just working out it's simple like all you got to do is work out and eat right and you start to see these little changes in your in your body and you're just like wow basically we have been training consistently for two years with our trainer with our trainer and he progresses us every single week like i said each week we make the workouts harder by increasing the weights the reps doing harder exercises our trainer has also taught us that we have to work every single muscle you can't just focus on one thing so one of the mistakes that i made in the past was only focusing on my abs or only focusing on my butt but there's so many other muscles than just your butt or just your ab. You have like your side glutes, you have like the top of your butt, the bottom of your butt, your literal butt, your hamstrings, your quads, like every single muscle you need to work in order to work the whole thing. You can't just focus on one thing because there's no workout will just hit that one spot and that one spot will grow you have to grow all around it one of my biggest things that i realized in my fitness journey what you eat is really important so i feel like i really started to figure that out in i want to say like june 2020 july 2020 because before that i feel like i wasn't eating right and i was just kind of like working out and not seeing any sort of progress but then when i realized what my body needs i started to see so much progress and i started to actually eat more i was not eating enough calories for my body to function and for my muscles to build and grow and most certainly was not eating enough protein like for a while i was plant-based and it's so 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 hard to get protein when you are plant-based i give so many people credit that are plant-based and they are able to get enough protein because i feel like i just didn't know the right i didn't eat a, the right amount of protein sources to get it so i switched back to being just eating like i'll eat chicken and fish and stuff and i started that switch back in may 2020 so that was like the start of it i, I started to incorporate a lot more protein and carbs and obviously vegetables like i eat more vegetables than anything like i love them but i started to incorporate a lot more protein and carbs because before i like wouldn't really i feel like everyone thinks that carbs are like the enemy but they're not they really help a lot in your fitness journey i eat oatmeal all the time like oatmeal really helps i swear it like is key to growing your butt oatmeal for some reason it just has the right amount of carbs you put peanut butter in it and you got that protein like i put my protein powder in it it's crazy but once i started eating right and eating enough for my body is when i really started to see a big difference and you just kind of have to set your mind to knowing at least this was my issue was i always thought like not food was an enemy but more of like i couldn't eat a certain thing or couldn't eat a certain amount because i wouldn't look this way i wanted to but then once i just got rid of all of that negative thoughts towards food and i really started to enjoy myself and eat things that i enjoyed like an 80 20 rule 80 percent of what you eat is really healthy 20 percent whatever you want i started my body just changed and it started to work with me like i almost started to just like agree with myself so then my body started to agree with me and then i started to see a lot more progress and a lot more booty growth and things like that and i started to become really happy with the way that i look and started to do a lot more self work with loving myself and loving my body and really listening to my body and giving it what it needs if i'm craving something one day i'll have it if i'm not and i want something more healthy i'll have it whatever it is i always just make sure i am being nice to myself i am giving myself the right nutrients and things that it needs and really just listening truly listening to my body but also working out and lifting weights because it's not that scary it really does not make you bulky like trust me i was so scared at first thinking i was gonna get all bulky but i didn't you just gotta make sure you're doing it right and 
it helps so 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 much another thing is band workouts i love to do band workouts you think that they aren't doing much because they you i don't use weight normally when i do a band workout so you think that you're not gonna grow too too much but let me tell you Band workouts are crazy, like they help so much in the specific bands that I use. My trainer actually came out with them. I'll have them linked down below for you guys, but I use the black one. It comes in a set of three, a small, medium, and large one. And the black one that I use is so, so, so hard. These bands like are the hardest bands ever. I feel like the rubber bands don't have too much resistance. I mean, obviously the resistance bands are gonna have resistance, but these cloth ones are like, you try to like open your legs and you literally have to like yank it open and then you have to be so 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 careful because you cannot like go in too far or else you're gonna lose your resistance so they are crazy and they don't slip all over your legs because i know the rubber ones are so so annoying that when you have them on your knees they like go all the way up to your thighs and you're like why is this happening to me right now these ones are just great i'll link them down below for you guys and i'll actually insert a picture of them right here so you guys can see what they look like and what i'm talking about another thing that i will have down below for you guys is our at home workout plan that we actually came out with our trainer it's the exact one that we did all summer and let me tell you it is a great 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 workout like we did the whole entire thing for the whole entire summer and it was hard and then by the end of the summer i saw a difference then at the beginning of the summer and then after doing that and adding weight for the winter time like i have seen such a big difference and it's just so effective will feel so amazing after and it's just such a hard workout i'll link it down below for you guys but it's basically just on my trainer's app you can go on the app and then you get like a subscription i think and then you are able to do our workouts so my sister and i actually came out with it with him all the workouts are created by him it's just the ones that we did so we didn't create them but he did so obviously it's like all from a actual certified trainer these workouts are home workouts so you can do them at the gym if you have access to a gym but i know the circumstances nowadays are pretty hard and if you don't have access to a gym you can just do them at home you don't even need weights to do it or you can use dumbbells or whatever you find around your house trust me you guys will be like thanking me later but we might be coming out soon with like a booty workout but like i don't know i don't want to like spill too much or anything but you know with bands maybe you didn't hear it from me but anyway moving on from that that's basically it i'll have one of the workouts that we did that was literally just legs and butt at the end of this video so you guys can just watch through it and get a gist of what we were doing for that day but i yeah that's just been my journey you guys have asked and i am giving it to you this is how i grew my butt and how i went from not really having that much of a booty to having what the kids say nowadays <laughs> dump truck ah i don't want to say that about myself but like low-key you guys it's crazy what you can do when you start to like listen to yourself and listen to your body and do what's right for your body it's crazy what can happen so anyway that's my journey that's what's happened that's how i grew my butt and i hope it helped you guys i hope you guys could take something from this video and if you're trying to grow your booty i hope you guys learned a little bit from what i've said i guess i'm going to end off this video now it's getting way too long i could go on for days about this topic i am so passionate about working out, health, fitness, everything. So I'm gonna stop talking and save you guys some time, but I hope it helped and I hope you guys learned something or take what you want, take what you need, leave what you don't. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day, whatever day you're watching this. I hope you are, I hope this motivates you to maybe even like live a healthier lifestyle, get to the gym more, start focusing on you because at the end of the day all you have is yourself so why not focus on yourself and why not 
do good things for yourself and things that make you happy because you should be your own best friend, you know? Anyway, I love you guys so much. I am just starting to talk about random things now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, let me know if you guys want anything else like this. I love this video. Obviously I could go on and talk for hours and hours and hours. So let me know if you want anything else. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Good job. High five. Good job.